Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Ronaldo is marking his last day today. He says it was the biggest honor of his life to work at the police department and serve his community. Our own Hannah Bueller sat down for a very candid conversation with the now retired police captain. When you first get into the police academy, they tell you that you just won a front row ticket to life. And you don't really understand what that means at the time. Uh, 23 years later, you understand what that means. It's a bittersweet day for Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Ronaldo. I said this before, I would have done this job for free, so. You would have. I would have. After 23 years serving the Buffalo community, Captain Ronaldo is turning in his badge, retiring from the force Thursday. I'm proud of the department. I always have been, no matter what anybody says. I think this is the finest police department around. At a young age, growing up in Buffalo, Ronaldo says he always looked up to the men and women in blue. His brother, a retired Buffalo police detective, was his inspiration. He would come home and I'd be playing with his handcuffs. So he definitely was the biggest influence in my life and following in his footsteps. In July of 1998, at the age of 23, Ronaldo entered the force as a D district police officer. He's held many different jobs throughout the department, serving as a community police officer, being promoted to a detective in 2008, lieutenant in 2012, and captain in 2017. For the past six years, he's been the face of the department in good times and in bad. He says throughout his time as department spokesperson, he tried to help break down various aspects of police work in an easy way for the community to understand. You have to respect the fact that the average person will not understand police work. The same way that the average person who's not a plumber does not understand how a plumbing system works. So I always attempted to approach this position as if I was talking to a friend or a neighbor, just trying to make them understand this is why we do what we do, this is how we do it, and this is why we have to do what we do. And I think that people respected that. I think that I've been told by members of the community that I was able to explain things that made sense. Law enforcement is a profession that has come under fire in the years since Ronaldo entered the force. He says despite all the negative publicity officers get on a daily basis across America, it's the most rewarding profession there is. And I think that if people really understood just the level of dedication, they, they would appreciate the service these officers do day in and day out. He says his decision has nothing to do with the politics at City Hall. In December of last year, Ronaldo says his wife was diagnosed with breast cancer and he needs to focus more time at home and on their family business. Missing family get-togethers and getting ready to go out and go to a movie and the phone rings and dad's got to go to work. Um, again, not specific to me. It's what police officers in every agency go through. It's the sacrifices that you willingly accept. But it takes a toll. I mean, there were many times I had to leave two children that were upset that dad's got to go to work again. He says the relationships he's built, the family he's been a part of, and serving and protecting the Buffalo community has been the greatest gift of his life. When you have to turn in your badge today, what's that going to be like for you? It's going to be emotional, but as I said, it's it's been uh, it's been a great ride in Buffalo. Hannah Bueller, Seven Eyewitness News. Clearly proud to serve the community for so many years, and now looking forward to some more family time for yes, sure. Yes, and I think we can both say that after having worked with Captain Ronaldo mm -hmm. over the years, he is nothing but a true professional, and uh, and has been great to work with. Sure so has. happy retirement, yes. Captain Ronaldo! All the best in this next chapter all for you. All the best.